But you have someone uh, like Joe Manchin or, or you know, anybody else that sees the attack on voting rights that's happening in our country, that sees our constitutionally enshrined right to vote, and sees it getting chipped away, um, and just sitting on it. Or what? And then the problem is that the rationale is weak, and it's not, and it's not really logical or consistent. But this is where I'm going to personally complain. If I went on television and provided an argument with that many holes in it, I would be pilloried. You know, I would be. It would be like front page, like the pressure from media, the headlines, the embarrassment. It would have been next level. But he gets to go on, and whether it's voting rights or whether it's BBB, because by the way, with Build Back Better in the House, we passed all $40 billion, all $36 to $40 billion for NYCHA, we got it. We passed it in the House, he's sitting on it. And our babies are sleeping in bubble jackets in NYCHA with no heat and no boilers because of that. So I'm mad. <laughs> <laughs>